Welcome back. The Vegas Take, Sharp and Shapiro. Final segment of the day. Then uh, it's, you know, Sean Hannity gets to uh, take over the reins. Can't do six hours of radio. Three is three is the, the most probably I could do in one day. Four. But uh, now I, 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 now, I, do, I do five no, on Fridays. No thanks. It's not bad. No thanks. I, I'm, uh, three hours is, is good enough for me. It's kind of like when you're in the bedroom, uh, you know, not to get personal here, but, you know, 20, 25 minutes is usually as far as I want to go. Uh, some some women uh, who I won't name, you know, want me to go for 90 minutes. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. How? Is it, how, how? Foreplay is fun. <sighs> Look, this is this is this is a segment that could go on and on forever. All I can tell you is that I'm a twenty That's what to twenty. She wants. I'm not p- quick to pull the trigger. Uh, I hope all of you are eating lunch on your lunch break at this point. So uh, good luck uh, with your vomiting. But uh, twenty to twenty five minutes is as long as I'm going to go. And recently, I've been with. Uh, I, I, I won't go any further than that. But I will say that ninety minutes is unreasonable. JD, do you disagree with me on that? Yeah, Brian, that's that's a little over the top it's as little, far as I'm concerned. It's a little over the top. It's unreasonable. It just, How old are you guys? Honestly, I'm busy. I'm busy. I got things to do, man. Honestly, that just sounds boring to me at that uh, point. It, it, 90 minutes. Give me a break, uh, Pat. What are you, on crack? How old are you? When I was your age? <laughs> What do you mean when you were my hours. age? I'm not 16 years old. What are you talking about? <laughs> about You're talking to me like I'm in four, high school, four, man. You know, there's four foreplay involved. Hours. There's passion involved. There's I'm not the nec- music, little Barry White. Oh, yeah. Barry White. Wow, that was just disturbing. No, you just did, a, he's, he's, just did a Barry he's, White he's, dance. He's, he's not talking about <laughs> the foreplay. I'm not talking about the he's foreplay, you about dummy. the act. I'm sorry, Pat. I don't think oh, you're the act. 90 <laughs> minutes of the act. Yeah, it's, it's unreasonable, man. Well, I mean, you can, How did we get to this conversation? Right back, 90 minutes you know, right Brian, we're talking Brian, about 90 you, minutes of sex, and totally, I'm going to switch over to you, Pete Buttigieg. You put it on yourself, Brian. This was self-inflicted. Well, you know, it's unreasonable, and man. I, and I would love, I would love to, to explain to our listeners how relevant this conversation well, we just had For is. another time, all I'm saying is actual sex, 90 minutes, is unreasonable. I'm not a porn so the star. Act, the, one, the one act. The, the act. act. Yes, yes. 90 minutes, the is per- that's pretty tough. You, the, could, you could make a lot of money, though. The performance. So to speak. I love it when they call it a performance. Like these these actors and actresses and uh, the porn stars, their performance. It's more like a session. <laughs> yeah, session performance. Anyway. It's it, a segment. Not that there's any ladies out there that would like to have this conversation with, but ladies, if you want a 90-minute performance uh, from me, I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. I'll give you a three-hour performance every morning, but it's going to be talking on the radio. That's my performance. <laughs> I don't have to take blue pills to do this show every morning, oh, thank God. Lord. Okay, but anyway, we'll move on to another subject before we really gross people out. Uh, let's just make a transition from blue pills and performance to Pete uh, Buttigieg. The, the crazy part about yes. that is we just we didn't violate any FCC rules at all. Well, I violated uh, a lot one, of things. Not probably, one. Probably the girl I'm dating right now. I probably violated well, her trust, that, but that that's okay. on a consistent basis. Anyway, let's move on to Pete Buttigieg. Uh, of course, the mayor, South Bend, uh, presidential Democratic hopeful. Uh, he is desperate. What I mean by that is he's he's hurting in the polls. Uh, he's not doing very well. He's not getting the black vote at all. I mean, at all. The people in South Bend uh, are not happy with his performance as far as police and, and that sort of thing. But we know I like Pete Buttigieg, okay? But now he is saying that if you donate one dollar, that's right, folks. One dollar to his campaign, you qualify to possibly have pizza with the mayor. The question is, where's the pizza room. from? Well, that's Domino's? what I want to know. Well, let's listen to this uh, this dialogue here, uh, this event that Pete Buttigieg, Pete Buttigieg is talking about. Hey, everyone. We're in South Bend. I'm at one of my favorite places, enjoying some pizza, as you can see. Of course, pizza is always better with company. <laughs> so we're going to be flying out a group of supporters and their guests to join us and celebrate everything going well on this campaign. Chip in anything you can, even a dollar, to be automatically entered, and I hope I'll see you here in South Bend. I wonder. I wonder how they. I'm Pete Buttigieg, and I approve this slice of pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Appreciate that. Glad you approved this pizza message. I wonder how that works. Um, you know, if you donate a dollar and then someone else donates a hundred grand, do you think randomly they'll just pick the guy that donated a dollar? I mean, I, I call BS. I call crap. But for me, I like the idea because I go back to South Bend, go to a Notre Dame game. Have a slice of pizza on him. Listen, like a buck. I would. A I buck's would, worth it. I would absolutely sit down with him and have a talk with him because I, I actually admire him. But um, this shows some desperation. Can you imagine well, if it, uh, it, uh, right it's, now it's kind of a takeoff of barstool sports and how they operate? Can you imagine if Joe Biden right now did that and he said, "Hey, folks, 
I want to sit down and have a piece of pizza I'm not with you. Sh- I'm not sure he could finish that actual sentence I'll do a, without having a I'll, gaffe. If you sit down with me and have a piece of pizza, maybe you get to watch my eye explode. Yeah, but he can't bite at the pizza. His teeth will get stuck. And he's like, ah, <laughs> His dentures will be stuck in the pizza. Oh, yeah, Joe, Joe yeah. Biden is a bit of a mess no, right but, now. Uh, but, you know, listen, I like Pete Buttigieg. Like I said, I do admire him. I think he's got a great future in politics. Hey, do you think that he took Notre Dame plus 14 this weekend? Don't Notre Dame plus fourteen was yeah. a good bet against, against New Mexico. Yeah. We don't we don't want to break Georgia. down. Oh, you're right. This coming up. That's week. right. We don't want to break down a football game. I like game them. Right I, like, probably, I like them on the money line. Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably don't want to break down a football game right now. But I, I did want to share this with you. Uh, by the way, good luck to Pete Buttigieg and his pizza. I do want to know if it's pepperoni or anchovies. If it's anchovies, I'm not donating a cent to his campaign.